What's up, everybody? Patrick LaRouge here from Evolve Restorative Therapy. You can find me at livepainfree.com. I have a pain-free concierge service that helps people heal their body. I show them not only what to do to get out of pain, but how to heal consistently. So it's not about doing stuff, doing stuff. It's all about how you do those things, and that's what this is about. So what we've been talking about all this month is anxiety. And if you haven't watched the first video or the second video, I suggest you do that because in the first video, we talk about finding out the triggers that cause your anxiety. And you need that for the second video, which is all about learning how to stop the onslaught, noticing what's going on and stopping it. Today, we're going to be talking about your senses and how your senses can diminish and calm down your anxiety. So once you stop everything, the next step is to calm your body down. And I'm going to get right into it. We all know once we get crazy, once things start going on, we get all flustered inside, whether you do things in the mentally as well as emotionally. Next week, we're going to be talking about what you do mentally. Today, we're talking about emotionally. And it's all about your senses. It's all about bringing yourself present. So we talked about in the beginning that once you're in anxiety, it's something that the brain and the body are not syncing up. And majority of the time, it's in the past or it's in the future. Like, oh my God, I'm not gonna have enough money to do this. Or, I've never did this right, I'm gonna mess it up now. Or, every single time I meet a boy, a person, uh, a new client, uh, I need a, um, this is not gonna work out. Like, you think of things in the past and you bring it into today. Or you think about things in the future and you bring it back in today. What you are not is here, present. That's what happens every single time you get anxious about something. Your body and your brain does not sync up because your brain is someplace else and your body is trying to fend with a future issue or a past issue. Nothing that's present and your body doesn't know what to do with it. So we have to bring you back here. That is where your senses come in. So we now find out a stop. We find out a trigger. Uh, my mother-in-law comes in and you're freaking out. You now say, all right, I'm starting to freak out. My mother-in-law is coming or um, this is happening right now. I almost got into an accident. I'm freaking out. Uh, I need to calm down. What am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to count 10, um, 10 deep breaths. So you do the 10 deep breaths. But that doesn't work. Why? Because you do it up top. You need to do it down low. But not only what you do, it's how you do it. So let's bring us back into our last week's video, which is the count breath. I told you to breathe down low. Have your body fill up and down. Now, to make it faster and better to have your body calm down, you need to use your senses. Listen how you breathe right as you breathe in hear how the breath comes in hear how the breath goes out listen for the cadence right feel the chest or the belly open up allow it to start moving don't force what you need to do when you're doing that you can also put your hands on your belly I spoke about that feel how your hands go up and down up and down Right? That is how you're going to utilize and um, optimize your four square breathing. The one I'm going to show you today is once you figure out the one that I used the most, let's go there, is I did my Pledge of Allegiance. This was my lie detector. I use this all the time. I sat back when I realized I was freaking out or when something was hard and I started to feel my heartbeat. I felt what was going on, and I felt the cadence, I felt the pressure, I felt what was going on, and I closed my eyes and I said, all right, that's going fast. Okay, let's see if we can slow that down. How fast can I slow it down? And I made a game out of it, all by feeling. And what you do is, once you use any one of your senses, it brings you right back to here and shows you what's happening, and then your body adapts to something that it can work with. So another thing that happens is when you, get, when you um, start to freak out is you get cold. Right? You go, ooh, I'm starting to get really, really cold because your body can't regulate its temperature. You know, so what it does, it's either you're going to get really, really hot or really, really cold. It's not going to regulate. You have to say, all right, my hands are cold. My hands are really, really hot. Let me calm things down. So you're just going to pick your hand up and feel it. And when you're there, this is the beauty part about this. You can actually feel the energy that's rolling through your hands. If you're able to do that, close your eyes for a second and feel Feel your energy of your hand. How do you know your hand exists? Once you start feeling that, you are automatically here. Guarantee you, you're going to be spooling that nervous system down. Anxiety will calm down. Breathing will resume 
uh, in a healing state if you're able to get there. The question is, can you do it? So those are the two things I want you to do. Heart, feeling, feeling your breath inside of your work. You're going to use your senses. Listen to it. Hear it. Feel it. You can't really taste it. Um, <laughs> but that's what I really, really want you to do is really get into the what is actually happening. How is this happening? Feel your hand. And it's going to take practice because, remember, when you're freaking out, you're in fight or flight. It means your body's not going to feel well. You have to wait. You have to be patient. And you have to observe, not force. You have to observe it. See how your hand feels warm. Feel how your hands feel cold. Get it to regulate. Feel the energy that's showing you your hand exists now. Feel your heartbeat. Feel how it... Boom, boom, boom. See how fast it's going. Coax it down. Work with it. Talk with it. That's how you beat anxiety. It's a full contact sport where you have to be in it. You can't just... Ten breath. Okay, ten breath. Because then you'll hyperventilate and most likely you're going to speed it along until the issue passes and then your body says, oh wait, the issue's not here anymore and then you calm down, right? So, my question to you is can you feel your heartbeat? A lot of people have trouble feeling their heartbeat up front. They're like, oh, am I dead? Ooh, I can't feel it. That's because they're somewhat in fight or flight. How long does it take you to feel your heartbeat? Is it going fast? Is it going slow? Feel that. And the more and more you get into that world, then you go into the little bit of a harder world. What does my hand feel like when it's that, that I know it's alive? Comment down below. Tell me how this helps. Tell me what is up. Until next time, peace out.